Hi, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today is a freaking cool day. So we are gonna go and pick up our half a cow and this is our first time ever doing this. So we've never ever ordered like this much meat at one time ever. So super exciting. We're gonna get all kinds of cuts of meat. I'm gonna do breakdowns of what we got, how much pounds we got, what we paid price per pound, where we got the meat, where we used the butcher, what butcher we used. So stay tuned. We just got here to Kelso's Meats in Snohomish. And we are, hold on, let me, we are just waiting for them to bring the meat out and we can load up the car. Okay, it's time to load this up. This is all of the meat that we picked up today. This is a half a cow. It's a lot, yeah. Some are double layered like these. These are bones, soup bones. The ground beef is, du is double layered as well. And this is tallow it looks like. And some other bones, maybe dog bones. Okay, let's go through it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven soup bones. So these are all soup bones right here. We got a round roast, a blade pot roast, two blade, three, three blade, four blade pot roast, one boneless roast, one roast bone, round bone roast, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beef ribs. Right, so there's eight of those, and then one cross rib. Um, we got a flank steak there. We got eye of round. Two packs of T-bone steaks. I believe there's two in each, and they're cut at an inch. I cannot remember. Uh, Tri-tip. Um, what else we got? One, two top sirloin. A pack of T-bone steaks rib steaks another rib steak so two three rib steak um we got some ground beef mixed in here too porterhouse beef brisket got two of those one is really big and then one is a little bit smaller one little tiny oxtail i was hoping for more oxtail because we love oxtail um another top sirloin here so there's three top sirloin i'm gonna also let me turn you around. I'm gonna also um, take a tally of it all and then put it in and how much they weigh and how much this totals up to. So yeah. Skirt steak, one, two, three liver, one tongue, one, two, three skirt steak, two tenderloin steak, one, that's part of the other top sirloin, porterhouse, and then the two rib steaks. And then all back there is all ground beef. Can you count how many ground beef that is, son? I'll count this row. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 8, 9, 20, 14, 16, 18, 24. So 26 and 21 is? 48, 24. 47 packs of ground beef those are in two pound packs and yeah so I'm gonna weigh everything and get it in the freezer because it's a long drive for us and some things are starting to thaw out as you can tell like you can see some moisture here I just wanted to show you guys this is a half cow and this is how much well this is how much our half cow came out to be we got it from forest cattle and he apparently grows really big cows. We just completed loading the freezer. I'm glad we got a freezer this size. I believe this is a 16 cubic foot because the cow ended up a lot bigger than we were told, which we're not exactly complaining about, but we're kind of ill prepared so now when we get our whole hog next month i think we're gonna have to get another freezer kind of organized it 
sort of. So on the top, that's all ground beef. Then the whole door is all ground beef. I did tell them two pounds a package, but when we weighed them, they look kind of like a little over one, not quite two, one and a half-ish more like. And then there's also um, a couple ground beef like here. And then that whole bottom drawer is all ground beef too. Um, we got some skirt steaks right there. We got tallow. A lot of the steaks are in here. Tenderloin steak, T-bones, porterhouse. I have a whole list and I'll make sure to leave that um, in the description on the bottom. And with the kind of like a breakdown. So I didn't count each one but I did weigh them all. So I have all the weights. And then the bottom is like roast and some dog bones. We got soup bones in the drawer down here. The whole, almost the whole drawer is soup bones. We got oxtail, we got top sirloin, we got the tongue. We also got the liver. Um, but yeah, so this is half a cow. Let me move back a little bit. This is what half a cow looks like in the freezer. I do have a few things in here, like some of my freezer meals are up here. We've got pizza. Um, this has flour in it, bread flour. That has bay leaves. And then in the back and underneath, there's meal prep items. We've got cheese here, some corn and bread. But pretty much 90% of what's in here is the cow. So it's a good hefty amount of meat when you buy half a cow breakdown we got 22 I'm not gonna do the ounces I'm just gonna do pounds about 22 pounds of blade pot roast we got 17 pounds of dog bones the oxtail was tiny I was really hoping for oxtail because we love oxtail but I got I got something I got a little piece uh, about a pound 4.1 ounces um, boneless roast we got about five pounds that doesn't seem right i don't think my kids wrote this down correctly oh i guess it's just one so yeah about five pounds for the bonus roast seven pounds for the top sirloin um eye of brown was about five pounds and beef ribs we got 14 pounds uh round bone roast about nine pounds total cross rib five pounds the tongue was about two pounds. Uh, we got beef ribs, that was about 14 pounds. We got tri-tip, about two pounds. We got porterhouse steak, five pounds. Flank steak, two pounds. Rib steak, 15 pounds. T-bone steak, 10 pounds. Skirt steak, 16 pounds. Um, ground beef, we got 114 pounds. So that was really good. We did sacrifice some of the rows to get more ground beef because we do eat a lot of ground beef in our house. So I got 114 pounds of ground beef. Um, top sirloin, I'm not sure if I said that one, seven pounds. Beef ribs was 14 pounds, a lot of beef ribs. Uh, beef brisket, we got two briskets. I know that for sure, because I'm excited about that one. Um, that one came out to eight pounds, almost nine pounds. We got a bunch of soup bones, 13 pounds total and two really big bags of tallow, about five pounds of tallow. And then the last one is tenderloin, two pounds of tenderloin. Not much, but something. So what we did pay was about 18, a little over $1,800 from Forest Cattle. It's 100% grass fed and grass finished. So 100% all the way around, all they eat is grass. Um, we paid about 1,800 for that. And then we paid the butcher about 460 so if you total that up that's the carcass of the cow half a cow and the butcher fees which is the packaging the cutting the wrapping deboning whatever kind of requests you have that also fluctuates it it depends on how you want it cut how many pieces all that good stuff if you want extra nest done then it's going to cost you a little bit more but we went to kelso's meats and that came out to about 98 cents per pound yeah and then we went through forest cattle like i said and it came out to i want to say it was about three dollars and eighty cents a pound yeah i want to say it was about 380 a pound for um hanging price of the meat so that means everything's off the body it's just a carcass no head no hooves 
just the carcass, half the carcass hung. Uh, we ended up with, drum roll please, 322 pounds and 2.2 2 ounces. 322 pounds and two ounces of meat in total. I mean, give or take, you know, the ounces and stuff I didn't mention, but around 322 pounds, we ended up with our half a beef. It started off as 457 pounds. So when the grower called, he said, okay, um, we're gonna harvest your beef and your half is 457 pounds. So that's hanging weight, 457 pounds hanging weight. From there, you, they take it to the butcher, you lose about 135 pounds we lost. It could be tendons and ligaments and, and just the stuff you don't want. Um, but I mean, that's pretty good, 322 pounds and it's a whole freezer. I would say about 80 to 90% of our um, stand-up freezer is, is the half beef. And that's a lot because that's a 16 cubic foot freezer and it's pretty full. It can fit a little bit more. I don't want to push it, but it, it's, it's, it's almost full. Um, so yeah, it was a super cool journey to learn how to buy half beef. But it's really good knowing that the rancher treats the animals well and they're 100% grass fed and they're not processing some big plant. They're just, they go from the rancher to the butcher to us quality meat and you know what I didn't calculate I didn't calculate how much it came out per pound so I'll be right back we paid eighteen oh five fifteen for the half beef from forest cattle and then we paid four sixty to the butcher so that totals up to twenty two sixty five fifteen that's what we paid total for all of it and it comes out to about seven dollars and three cents a pound so Although that is a little expensive for some people because they buy um, ground beef for a lot less, you gotta understand that we're getting roast for $7.03 a pound. We're getting T-bone steaks, we're getting tenderloin, we're getting ribs and uh, brisket and all of this good stuff we're getting for $7.03 a pound. So although the ground beef is a little more expensive than a lot of people would wanna spend, it's well worth it. Plus it's, like I said, it's 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef it's treated you know no hormones no steroids they don't get none of that bad stuff and on top of that it went straight from the rancher to the butcher to us so it's worth it for us to get it this way also if you're buying grass-fed 100 grass-fed and finished beef from the store it can run ten dollars a pound and up so really we're getting really good quality beef for seven dollars and three cents that's my dog. He's drinking water right now. One of my dogs. So sorry. Um, $7.03 for me for all of that good cuts and parts and all the things I can experiment with is worth $7.03 a pound. So it's worth it for us. It's supposed to last us a year. So in a year, I'll make another video and I'll let you know if it actually lasts a year or not. And we'll kind of know at that point if we need to buy a cow earlier or later. Um, we're also getting a whole hog next month and I think we're gonna have to buy another freezer because our freezer is full. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a lot. If you have questions or comments don't forget to leave it below. Um, yeah that's that's pretty much it. it. It's it's a long process you got to do your research but it's well worth it to know that my family is gonna get really good quality beef. So I hope you guys end up doing it or trying it. It's it's well worth it. And then you don't have to go to the store. You just have all of your meat in the freezer. You pick out what you need, defrost it, and you make your meal. So I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.